here at Grace Kids, we are all about helping kids become like Jesus by loving God and serving others. And today, we're going to learn about how God always takes care of us. And I promise you, it's gonna be a good one. beautiful stranger. Hi, uh, I like your dress. What's your name? Hey, thank you. I am Sleepy Beauty. Yeah. Oh, hi, Sleepy Beauty. So nice Beauty. to meet you. That's an interesting name. Yeah, it's, it's a fun name. I love it so, so much. Um, are you going to fall asleep soon oh, oh, I'm so sorry. So, uh, yes. So, I love to sleep. Sleep is so great and it helps me get my beauty rest. But ah. I am a little afraid to fall asleep for long periods of time because... Uh, you're doing that thing again where you oh, fall asleep. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Because one time I fell asleep and I didn't wake up for years and years later. It was the craziest, strangest thing. Wait, you're telling me years? What? Years. I need you to finish this story. Yeah, years. Because I fell asleep, I pricked my finger, and then I was awakened by true love's kiss from my husband. What? What a strange story. <laughs> yes. What's your name again? Sleepy Beauty? Sleepy Beauty. And so let me recap. The one time, the last time you fell asleep, it was for way too long. Way too long. And now so you're concerned years. about sleeping again because you don't want that to happen. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so I have this problem where I just fall asleep at any moment standing up so I carry the pillow. You Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, this is interesting. I don't know why you don't like just sleep laying down when you get tired, but yeah, um, tired. I have a suggestion. Yes, ma'am. Hear me out. Mm -hmm. Today in our lesson, we're gonna be talking about how God always takes care of us. <gasps> and I think that there might be something that you can learn from it if you wanna pay attention and listen. I will learn as, as long as you on the shoulder and wake me up every yeah. once in a while. Yeah, yeah, okay. I can I can totally wake you up like this. Wake up! Okay. Like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I'm good. Uh -huh. I'm good. I, I will okay. do that. <laughs> Welcome to week four of our memory verse. I hope you guys are enjoying it. It has been so much fun and I would like to sing it one last time because I have a lot of fans out there and they've been sending me like messages and asking me to sing Psalm 121.8. So can I have one more shot it's at it? It's true. One more chance. One more time. And will forever, my heart, Lord, coming and over both the watch yours going now. Psalm 121.8. Um, that is That's, not even close to being No, right. it's not. But we are missing a couple, a couple words. A couple? Yeah. Like eight? Like half of it. Eight of them? We can bring them back. Okay, we'll bring them back. Okay, ready? Yeah. How should we bring them back? You tell me. That's pretty good. Yeah. Watch yeah. this. All right. Okay. Closer. We're, We're getting, getting closer. There. Yeah. Can you sing it like this? The Lord will watch over your blank going blank now blank blank Psalm 121. Eight. All right. Let's hold on one second. I'm holding. What about now? The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now, blank, blank, someone 21 hey. That was great. One more time. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forever. More. Someone 21 hey. <laughs> Have you ever been to a wedding? Now, I know as a kid, you're looking and you're going, weddings, those are gross because they're gonna kiss on the lips. But you know what though, And when you become an adult and if you find the right guy, girls, or guys, when you find the right girl, it is beautiful and it's amazing. And I love going to weddings. I love doing weddings. And so today, let me just warn you right now, it's going to end with a wedding. So there was a man, his name was Boaz, and you've been following the story the last few weeks and he really, really, really liked Ruth. I mean, he really, really liked her. But there was a problem. And this was not just a little problem, like you might get a little check engine light on your car. This was like a serious problem. So what is he going to do? So he devised a plan. Because here's what was gonna happen. Because of the traditions they had back in those days, um, Ruth was could get married again, but she was gonna have to marry somebody different. And so he's like, there's this land involved and she's gonna have to marry this guy, but if I can somehow buy the land instead of this guy, then I can marry Ruth. So he meets with the guy. 
And he's like, hey, I got this plan, so can we talk? And the guy's like, sure. He goes, so there's this land, it's yours. You can buy it. And the guy's like, that is awesome. I get to buy the land. He goes, oh yeah, you get to buy the land. Oh, and by the way, because you're buying the land, you get to marry Ruth. And the guy's like, excuse me? I already have a family. I don't need another wife because back in those days they could have multiple wives. And he's like, I don't need another wife. So I'm going to say no thanks. And by the way, um, to show you that I'm serious about that, because back in those days, one of the ways they could show like, OK, this, this, this deal is not going to happen. You can have it is he took off his sandal and handed it to Boaz, which meant she is now yours. You can have the land and you can marry Ruth, which, of course, made Boaz so happy because before Boaz married Ruth, he was ruthless. Yeah, he was ruthless. But let me tell you, after they got married, they had a son. His name was Obed. Then they had their son, Obed, had another son whose name was Jesse. And then Jesse had a son later, and you might know who he is, King David. So in Boaz's family line, his great-grandson is King David. Do you have a pet at home? This is my pet, Cooper. He's been a part of our family for about a year and a half now, and we just love him to pieces. But pets take a lot of work. If you have a pet at home, what kind of chores do you have to do to take care of your pet? What are they? Tell me. Wow, those are some really big chores. But maybe for some of you that don't have pets, do you have a really special stuffed animal at home that you just love to bits, but you would be super sad if something happened to it? Yeah, sometimes it takes a lot of hard work to care for both the live pets in our life and also the really important special stuffed pets in our life too. All of them take care and sacrifices and love and sometimes extra time or extra money. In our story today, we found out how everyone took care of each other. Ruth took, took care of Naomi. Naomi took care of Ruth. And Boaz actually took care of both of them. All throughout this month, that's what we've heard about. And from all of that, we can learn how God takes care of us too. So just like you take extra special care of the pets in your life, both live and stuffed, right? You take extra care of them. God will take care of you even more so. Today, Ruth discovered that God always takes care of us. She received her happily ever after. But no matter what we are facing, we can know that God is always going to take care of us. Let's pray. God, we ask that you would continue to take care of us no matter what we are facing, that we would always look for your fingerprints and to see where you are providing and leading us. God, we thank you for how much you love us. In your son's name, amen. See you later.